Nagaland State Commission Ra March 14 Kohima State Election Commissioner Private Residence Day Urban Local Bodies Laga 39 Municipal Aro Town Council Laga Electoral Roll Revised Scribble Aro Update Scribble Karne Chankari Divoli Press Conference Lucia Janai Diase British Sorgabra 27 February 2024 the Municipal Aro Town Council Laga Electoral Roll the Special Summary Revision Lobole Administrative Approval Janai Shep IV State Election Commissioner D. Chon Long Merbra, Urban Local Bodies Operki Koi, Tidels Press, Sai Sabo. The Special Summary Revision of the Electoral Roll. Uh, these are not the dates for the elections. These are the dates only for the Special Summary Revision of the Electoral Roll. So, you may have some additions. Some of them would have, some of our youth would have come of age. They wish to enroll. Some of them, some of them have left us, the elders. We have to uh, like delete and so on. So in consonance with this, today uh, morning at the DCS conference hall, I have taken a meeting with all the uh, election registration officers as well as the assistant election registration officers. Thereafter, one of our experts from the uh, election commission, Mr. Tushimern, he has come and shared certain technical points in this regard. The stages for the special summary revision are draft publication of electoral roll that would be on the 8th of March 2024, Friday. Period for lodging claims and objections would be from 11th to the 20th of March 2024, that is Monday up to Wednesday. Period for disposal of claims and objections. The dates are set for 21st to the 27th March 2024. Period for filing appeal to the respective uh, appellate authorities would be from 28th March till the 3rd of April 2024. The appellate authority in this case is the DC of the relevant uh, district. Disposal of claims and objections by the appellate authority. This will be done between 4th and 6th of April 2024. Preparation of lists of amendments after the decision of the appellate authority would be done between 8th to 10th April 2024. Thereafter, when everything is done, the final publication of electoral roll would be from 12 April 2024. So this is the notification which the State Election Commission has done today. For your knowledge, there are 39 municipal oblique town councils. There are three municipalities, that is in Kohima, Dimapur, Mokokchong. The remaining 36 are town councils. So the elections would be for these 39 uh, constituents. The ULB election matter is under the scrutiny of the Supreme Court of India. The court's direction latest order dated 11-12-2023 is that the entire election process should be completed by 34-2024 that is 30th of April. The old Nagaland Municipal Act of 2001 was repealed. Thereafter last year the new Nagaland Municipal Act was enacted by the Nagaland Legislative Assembly.
The last revision of the electoral rules was taken in 2022. The final publication was given in 24th of November. Total electors uh, under the ULB elections would be 3,60,150 voters as of now. Wards is 418, the polling stations is 693. So as by tradition, before the uh, uh, election, there is always a revision. So this we are conducting uh, in the month of uh, March, final publication in April. Even the Supreme Court direction for the timeline for these elections to be completed, we are working hard. We will do our best to complete it as per the schedule. Since this notification is very important for all the voters, for all the political parties, we are requesting you uh, like to do the publicity for us. So we have to finish uh, this special summary revision first and then publish the final electoral role. Then only I'll have to I'll look at the uh, schedule. About 1,69,000 uh, female voters and approximately around uh, 1,70,000 voters in the region. Yeah. As of now, uh, is approximate. That, uh, that has been published on 24th November 2022. That was when the last intensive revision was carried out. The Lok Sabha uh, elections is going to be held also, and I think the uh, dates will be notified one of these days. So that is a, a factor because the question begs itself. Key, can we have simultaneous elections both for the Lok Sabha as well as the ULP? So this is a, a point that I need to seriously study and to uh, take the logical decisions in this regard.